Could The Rock be joining Deadpool 3? The latest installment in the Fast and Furious franchise, Hobbs and Shaw, burned rubber at the box office and gifted many fans with what they were all looking for in a big summer movie. Explosions, muscles, cars, Easter eggs, friendships, and even special cameos. But one cameo in particular has the internet abuzz over what may result in an epic future comic book movie team-up. Now, before we get into it, we are going to spoil a cameo in Hobbs and Shaw, so if you don't want to get spoiled, then hop in your souped up, super expensive car and ramp it into the neighboring skyscraper to avoid these spoilers. Still here? Great. In the beginning of Hobbs and Shaw, we see the Merc with the Mouth himself, Ryan Reynolds, pop in for a few scenes as Hobbs' old buddy coming to recruit him for a mission. The scenes were very small and filmed recently, as shown by the reference to the ending of Game of Thrones. While the cameo could have been just that, a cameo, it appears that Deadpool co-creator Rob Liefeld has other ideas. Over the weekend, Liefeld took to Instagram to reach out to Dwayne The Rock Johnson about his chemistry with Ryan Reynolds in Hobbs and Shaw. And based on that, Johnson should join the next Deadpool film with Liefeld writing, Dearest The Rock, based on reports of outstanding chemistry between you and a familiar friend, I believe the next logical step is for you to join the Marvel Universe as Garrison Kane in a future Deadpool installment. You're a natural, and Kane is already celebrated by millions of comics fans who have thrilled to his adventures since I first introduced him in X-Force number two. Your pal, Rob. Now, this would be cool and all, but it's not a guarantee of anything. There's no way The Rock would join the Marvel Universe, right? Wrong. The Rock responded to Liefeld with a tweet saying, Dearest Rob, thank you, amigo. It's true. In Hobbs and Shaw, I have insanely outstanding chemistry with our familiar friend. Since you created the characters, how does one Garrison Kane get alone with one Deadpool? Oh, bully! Are you kidding? Does this mean we could get The Rock in the next Deadpool film? We certainly hope so. Let's take a look at how that could all potentially happen. For those of you who passed on buying X-Force 2 back in 1991, Garrison Kane was first introduced by Rob Liefeld as a hot-headed mercenary recruited by Cable. After an explosion, Kane is grafted with cybernetic arms and legs and following a trip to the future, was able to transform his limbs into various weapons. The inclusion of Garrison Kane into the Deadpool franchise could be the perfect way to get The Rock into the MCU. With Kane's link to the future, we could see this opening up another storyline with Cable, who is still with Deadpool and the X-Force at the end of Deadpool 2. Now, we are pretty sure that the third Deadpool movie or an X-Force spin-off film is in the works. Recently, Ryan Reynolds himself teased out his iconic character when he posted a photo on Instagram of a board of the suspects who might have leaked the Deadpool footage and how the investigation was entering Phase 5. Speaking of Phase 5, we know that Marvel is hard at work trying to figure out how to get Deadpool into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, thanks to our very own special Nerdist reporter, Steven Sirwinski, who asked the Marvel man in charge, Kevin Feige, the very question himself. When could we see something involving Deadpool in the MCU? Uh, I did mention mutants on the way. I put Deadpool in that category. Add to that fact, the Walt Disney Studios chairman, Alan Horn, has made it pretty clear that he wants Deadpool in the MCU. Add up all the pieces and it appears we'll be seeing the Merc with the Mouth again sometime soon. But what about The Rock joining the Marvel Universe? Well, that's a little more up in the air. While it would be pretty cool to see Ryan Reynolds and The Rock squaring off in a Deadpool movie, at this point, it still is in the realm of fan casting. And to be honest, we're kind of skeptical that this team up will actually happen. At the moment, The Rock is still slated to play Shazam's nemesis, Black Adam, in a standalone film over on the DC side of the cinematic playground. Though there is nothing official, we know Marvel and DC are not big fans of their actors crossing over to the competition. But it does happen. Hell, Ryan Reynolds and Josh Brolin have played several characters on both sides of the field. I know, right? And it would be hard to deny an actor with the star power of The Rock any role he wanted in the Marvel Universe. However, until we hear the words from the mouth of Kevin Feige saying, The Rock is playing Garrison Kane, period, we're just gonna have to put this fan casting on our wish list of things we always wanted to see on screen. I'll never not picture that. But what do you folks think? Would you want to see The Rock in the MCU? 
you, which other comic book character could you see The Rock play? And if The Rock was in Deadpool 3, would you want to see him give Ryan Reynolds a rock bottom or the people's elbow? Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with a show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world. Thank you.